All right, guys, we're here today with this uh, AR-47 build. Uh, got the Bear Creek upper, uh, FMK lower, uh, 76239 uh, side charging handle. Gonna, uh, this is the first shots with this gun, so we're gonna check it out, see how it's shooting. It's the first time it's ever been shot, so we're gonna see what it's gonna do. I told you guys that I bought this 30 round magazine, and it's too long to go in here with this bipod, so I gotta get it some 20 rounds. Bought the 10, uh, 10 round magazine, and it's too short. Now that I got my Magwell, my Magwell flare on there, when you put the 10 round in there, you get it lost. But I'm gonna start with that one. And, um, and go ahead and put it in there and uh, see what it shoot like. And then I'll go to the 30 round. I might have to do it from a standing position or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right. Just shooting some standard surplus uh, 762 uh, by 39. Russian red. <laughs> so I didn't have the magazine all the way in. So we didn't get the, no fire, but let's try it again. Here we go. That's pretty sweet. We're right in the center. I didn't even psych this thing in. That's exciting. All right, that's the other thing about having a mag flare wheel with a 10 round magazine, you can't get it out. So you gotta kinda push your finger in there, push it down, get it out. I'll try the 30 round, uh, probably from a standing position. Got a miss speed. <clears throat> Using a Pro Mag 30 round magazine. Let's try it again. I'm gonna switch over to that splatter target and see uh, if I can see it from here.
Uh, you can cut, man. I'm tired. That's how you're heavy, bro. So, I took this air gun out to the range and did first shots with it. And so it ran pretty good. I had one um, misfire on here and uh, it was a misfeed. Um, so it was easy to clear, just drop the mag out of there, um, recharge it. And from that point on, it fired good. Had no other issues with it as far as firing. Um, got this thing it was honestly I, right off the bat at 100 yards i was shooting at the target and the shots that was on the bipod was um right on so i didn't even have to uh, do any adjustments to the scope um i i thought that um, for that distance that it was firing pretty good um i should, probably should i had a paper target i probably should have used a splatter target so i can get a better uh, a sight of seeing exactly what hole each bullet was putting in there or i should have recorded it either way um but overall though it shot really well uh from the uh, bypass position uh, once i start firing from a standing position um it still it still was on on, on uh, target but i was um, obviously firing a little bit low um from the um the way the bullets was landing on the target but overall though this uh, weapon fired really well um, it had no issues the only thing I uh, found was that Bear Creek um, upper is still heavy um, it's still still solid I try to keep this thing as light as possible um, I got some issues with my shoulder um, but I still should be able to fire a lot more rounds uh, in standing position than I did but I won't lie, after that one mag, I was, I, my arm was feeling pretty tired, um, and um, I had been shooting earlier, so there um, was no reason to keep on. I, just, I was just out trying to see how this thing was going to operate um, after, you know, for the first shots. Now that I've fired it and I, I see that it's on uh, target, I'll take it back out, especially when I get the um, other mag. Um, I got a 20-round magazine um, coming from a gun warehouse. A gun mag warehouse and um it's got a, a it's a, a, a asc i didn't find the um i didn't find the other one that i was looking for yet um so i'm gonna um keep looking for it um but really you can't you don't find a lot of them in stock like i thought you would uh so i'm gonna keep looking for it uh, looking around see what they got if that one uh from um that asc one from uh um gun mag warehouse workout i just ordered some more of those like uh this one this one is a pro mag uh this 30 rounder and um i got this one from my local pawn shop um and it's a pro mag and it shot fairly well this here one is from gun mag warehouse and this is a, a asc one uh, like the one that i got on order and i had no issues with this one uh, shooting yesterday only thing is it's too short when you uh, when, by the time you get it pushed all the way in there it disappears in the mag in that mag flare and then it's a little bit of a uh, headache trying to get out so it's definitely i mean i can use it but it's it's not something that you would want to you know be on even on the range you don't want to just be like digging around trying to get that thing out you know so you want everything to be pretty quick and efficiently efficient other than that, other than that, though the, the, the weapon fired good, it was on it was on it was on target at 100. It was doing really well. Like I say, I got a little bit tired, and I was I was uh, done at that point. But like I, I'll take it back out. I'll, I'll get some more rounds uh, rounds put through it. I, I really like that side charging handle. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this is the only one that I got with a side charging handle. But I, I, I really like that right there. Maybe I'll take this here gun 
and and and, and run it against my uh, AK and see how the, um, well, see how they run at 100 and um, we'll, we'll see what happened anyway just uh, just wanted to uh, you know come back and talk a little bit about it um, I was uh, I was pretty impressed with it it did good you know it did it did, it did good and that's the first shots um, so I'm happy with it um, I'm happy with everything I don't really think I'm gonna do anything else to it except for the mags but I'm probably just gonna leave it just like this especially with the weight of it I'm probably not gonna add any more weight to it um, I mean that's about it man so you know so next time, uh, stay vigilant, stay locked and loaded, and trust in God, and um, I'll see y'all in the next one.